This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN and Shopify people. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time for Monarch Episode 7 today. Ladies and gentlemen, tell us, tell us, tell us before we watch it. Did you like this episode? Was it more engaging than the others? Do you prefer the 50 storyline or the present day storyline? <laughs> Leave your thoughts down below. Anyway, John, are you good? I'm so good. Me too, man. I'm ready to monarch on, you know what I'm saying? It's a phrase the kids say now. Shiver me timbers. That's what the, all the kaiju audiences say. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get my monarch on. I'm going to get my monarch. <laughs> Let me put on my monarch Guys, leave a legacy of likes, would you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's good. Some monstrous <laughs> subscribe button. Um, don't be shaw and hey. support Prepper for helping set down these highlights. Um, the Philippines. Full length thread should watch the yeah. longer you sink up your coffee and water. Maybe for our super sex and rejects over our Patreon page. Over there, recover several shows exclusive to the highlights and watch alongs, including Giant Rated Monarch on. May we get to it, G. The aftermath. Legacy of rubble. Oh, please be Tim. Let's go. My man. My man. My man lives. <laughs> I'm rooting for this guy, man. <laughs> you did it, man. Clancy Brown's going to play him in the future. <laughs> Legacy of Tim. Legacy of Tim. What do you think Dad was doing out there? I don't know. Oh, Kentaro's impersonating most of the audience when we cut to the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's the most soothing part of the story. <laughs> I've never flown first class. Do you think we'll be in those pods? Who gives a shit about pods? I do. Comfort. I'm sleepy. Who gives a shit about him? He took one look at us and ran away. Maybe he was trying to get away from Godzilla. And left us behind to get stomped on? How is that better? Yeah, that's a fair point. She went to the bathroom like 40 minutes ago. What did you expect? Uh, you told her to stay the hell away from you. Oh, damn. Man, damn. Shit. She she has been in there for 40 minutes. The dejected and whining chemistry of them <laughs> two... Is what I live for when I come to this show. Yes. <laughs> this is the real drama that I experience in my own life. Ooh. I've never been kidnapped before, so how does this work? <laughs> cool. I'm going to choose. That was cool. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. That was cool. I know. I'm going to use that when I'm kidnapped. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I told you to go to hell. Hey? You didn't actually go, did you? She wasn't in there, but I found her passport and her phone. Wait, wait, wait. Damn. Maybe she forgot it. May? Our May? Oh, they've risen to that point. It's our May now. Yeah. Uh-huh. She belongs to the both of us. Oh, my God. What a great kidnapping. <laughs> hey, I mean, this is an upgrade from even first class. Must have wanted that stuff to be left there. She better have the most compelling backstory we've ever seen. Honing sessions, buzzed on caffeine so deep in, you don't know how long you've been at it. So the sun comes up pulling you out. Or your mum coming down to do the laundry. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Uh oh. We need another bottle. What? The end of the second bottle. Then you give your big sales pitch. And tell me how brilliant I am and how I'm wasting my talent when I could be saving the world. And the money, of course. Mm -hmm. It's money. <laughs> this is by far one of the best meals. But you missed the most important part where, quite frankly, girl, I'm tired. Ooh, get I've real. Had two bottles. <laughs> yeah. Look, you are brilliant and you can work anywhere, but I think the future looks better. If you create it Look with, me. with me. Ooh, that is a pitch. And girl, there is a lot of money. Oh, what are they going to create? I do like money, though. Who and cares? Yeah. They got money. No way. Hey, he walked 10 clicks awfully fast. Where is she? What did you do with her? I have had <laughs> a very weird day. Maybe you could just take it a little easy, okay? <laughs> Where is me? <May? laughs> about to do the face-off hand. What about the deal May made with your partner? What deal? What? The deal. The deal, man. 
My partner and I were having some issues. We're separated, okay? People die out there. Is that who you people are? Thank you. <laughs> no, that is not who we are. I don't feel like he had to go to the airport to get all this water. <laughs> he could have I'm gone sure he passed a bunch of other places. <laughs> and the water, water at the airport's like eight bucks a bottle. <laughs> what was he doing out there? Abandoning you. <laughs> he, he was here? Was. He ran off. He ran off. He had some machine set up and then Godzilla woke up. Wait, 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 what machine? Oh, uh, no. Is that what he was doing? Was he trying to wake up Godzilla? No. Not the dinner bell. Your father spent his life trying to prevent something like G-Day from happening. I believe he's trying to prevent the next one. He won't. Dorothy's gonna fly. I have seen Godzilla versus Kong. Monarch seems to be plugged in all over the world, so help us find May, and we'll help you find Shaw. Excuse us. We're gonna go talk. Brother, sister stuff. Hey. What are you doing? We gotta do this. I don't know. No. But Dad. They're gonna to wanna to find Dad. I don't wanna find Dad. We don't even know what he was doing out there or why he ran off. I started this crazy quest thinking that he might be able to explain this. I don't believe that anymore. So you can go home. I love their scenes, John. They always bring new light <laughs> to the situation. <laughs> what happened? Godzilla happened, actually. He was um he was here. You guys weren't looking for that? You're sure. Kinda hard to miss. Majestic, terrifying. <laughs> I, I'm fair. <laughs> Doranda kids are here. I need to help them do something first. Also, I might need to piggyback some monarch resources. If Godzilla's on the move, we need a full debrief. <sighs> he was huge. He appeared. <laughs> Had you not treated these kids like criminals, oh. like I said, then they might have led us to Godzilla instead of running to Shaw. That's why I have to help them. Help them do what? Oh. oh, wow. Find their friend, May Hewitt. They they think that we kidnapped her. We didn't do we that, didn't right? We didn't kidnap her, did we? <laughs> <laughs> what a great delivery. <laughs> Tim. This is Tim's show. Tim is my favorite character. <laughs> One scene. <laughs> like. Tell me you really don't care what happens to her. We can take our first class tickets and climb into her pods and go home. The attention to detail in their dialogue, how they're always bringing details from the previous conversation into the new conversation. Yeah. Are they going to fly first class? Will there be pods? Just a variation of range, too, in their <laughs> delivery. Outpost 88. That's cool. Double infinity. Damn, dude. That's some cool ass sound. Yeah. <laughs> Stranger Things season four. It's the same isotopic signature as G Day, but the transmission rate is really funky. Oh, it's you. Yeah, from the Breaking Bad episode. Not like sour milk funky or something. Sour milk funk. I'm not like trying to step on your turf. I didn't be that as like a racist slur. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pee. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Oh, don't leave that lady with your computer. Godzilla shut this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> He's at the circuit breaker. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> shut it down. I am the law. Good afternoon. Can we have your attention, please? What's going on here? Yeah. Who the hell are you? Who? Nice coat. Your base is now under my control. You all may leave whenever you want. You all know where the doors are, which we will be locking down for operational security. Oh, cool. You can go on as if the world hasn't changed, pretending that humanity didn't just wake up and suddenly find itself on the endangered species list. Uh-huh. You can stand with us on the right side of history. Uh-oh. It didn't account for someone might be in the bathroom. Shoot through the walls. Damn, she go fast. It's Barnes. I'm at outpost 47, uh, 87, 88. <laughs> outpost 31. Oh, this is intense. Our heroes feel malevolent. Dude. Night into snow. That's a great shot. Yeah, man. Uh-oh. Wouldn't say anything for a while. You'd, you'd almost forget he was in the room, then chime in with some perspective that would turn the whole thing on its head. He's Godzilla. 
<laughs> he, he didn't miss a trick. We used to write everything down. These little pencil stubs. Pencils! <laughs> the pencils! <laughs> the shavings! May told me if anything happened to her, I should call her sister. Can you run a search? Can you use the phone? We did background checks on all of you while you were in custody. The passport that she is using is fake. What? Her real name is not May. Ted. Cora. Jane Sarazawa. <laughs> Is her name is Cora? Like Legend of Cora? Yeah. Meaning to check in on you. Really? I've been mm. trying to get in to see you, Brenda. I, I do have to go, but call Taylor and we'll get a lunch on the books. Why did you hire me? Blue in her hair now. I didn't expect my code to disappear down some rabbit hole at the cybernetic neuro interface unit, which sounds cool as shit, Whoa. by the way. I think we're leading to Apex. Look out. She's going to be key in developing that tech. For which you signed a contract, which stipulates any and all output you produce while in our employ is the exclusive property of AET. It's not your code, Cora. It's our code. <sighs> There's a seat for you at the table if you want it. But that doesn't mean you don't have to earn it. Everybody doesn't get a trophy here. Yeah, you don't get points for participating and doing your damn job. I was at Outpost 87, 88. monitoring the gamma ray bursts <laughs> coming from Alaska, and then these people came in and took over. Can you hold your phone horizontal? <laughs> Can we do a troubleshooting scene? Oh, tur turn it around, man. So, Colonel, what do you want to take? The beer. Here. <laughs> yeah. I got I'll, a lot of cases I'll of this is the chips beer, we can right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy a Toyota. Oh my god, I love Toyota. They are very reliable cars. And I associate them with the art I like. I still think we should just tell them the truth. What if Cora doesn't want them to know the truth? That she's been hiding out using a fake name? Or what if she's protecting them from something? We go barging in there and spill the beans. Dude, there's a titan in their backyard. You gotta play this cool. So follow my lead, okay? Guys, no, please no, let no, Tim no, cook. No, no. Walk this way. <laughs> Talk this way. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Tim. You got this. I like to improvise. Cora was in Japan. Just passing through for work, I think. We're all in an online manga group. Hey, I am a weeb. So you saw Cora in Japan? Yeah, uh, briefly. So you all live there? No. I'm from Tokyo. So now you're here in Seattle looking for my sister. She's rightfully suspicious. What kind of manga is Cora into? Oh. It's your basic shoujo stuff. I mean, obviously, Naoko, Takeuchi, Moto, Hage. <laughs> <laughs> Tim! You did your research, my man. <laughs> when was the last time she was home? Two years. To the day. I still think we should tell them what happened with me. We don't know what happened with Cora. Did you see her face? Did you see the sister's face? She knows something, but she's not saying. She had a sister? There she is. All right, get in. Get in. Yeah, she was just okay. Awfully suspicious then. Maybe she's getting in her car to follow you guys. Yeah. They're just going to be following each other, snaking <laughs> its own tail. <laughs> We've been going around in circles in the same neighborhood this entire time. Go faster. I know where to go. You have to go faster. We're going to lose you. She's right there. She's probably seen you. Oh, my God. This ADR is keeping me on edge. <laughs> oh my, it's like we're in the car with them. Stop, 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 stop. Get out! <laughs> Get out of the car! Yeah, dude. I'm sorry we lied to you. Are you with the company? Tell me the truth. We're her friends. That is the truth. We did meet your sister in Japan. She's been traveling with us, helping us solve our own family mystery. <laughs> but you need to leave our family alone. Sure. She likes old tech, but thinks people who collect vinyl are hopeless posers. You know, she thinks... Aww. Most people are stupid, like me, but it didn't stop her from helping me. When I needed her. Oh, that was actually a touching ass scene. Yeah. We just want to make sure she's not in trouble. It's too late for that. What do you mean? Trouble follows her wherever she goes. Who's the company? Applied Experimental Technologies. All right. Almost. Ape X. I don't remember what Applied Experiment... I don't remember what Apex stands Apexed. <laughs> I mean, you could. Applied Experiment. <laughs> oh. Hey. Tom I'm Holland's on a rampage. Where's my Spider-Man suit? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong universe. What's going on? I am. Um, I gotta, gotta go. Mom wondered if you were running to puke because you were pregnant. Uh, uh, uh. 
Hey, what is it? I need you to get me some cash. Ugh. I need to take your passport. You can report it stolen next week, okay? What? Oof. I have to go away, okay? Where? I have to go away. I have to disappear. Where? Where? Why? If anyone asks, I hate manga. <laughs> <laughs> A couple days ago, she called. She said she might be able to come back. She made some kind of deal. The deal from a couple episodes ago. It's crazy. If you do find her, you just let her know that we don't care what happened. We just want her home. Dude, you should join the show. Yeah, she's great. Just, just take her along just in case. She's got a reason to be here. So, what now? I offered you a tremendous opportunity. Money! <laughs> Something transformative. Yeah, I remember. Like... The way have we made this content to be able to put it up on YouTube. She's a free use pioneer. <laughs> it's the trouble when you hire people good at computers to work at your computer company. <sighs> See neuro interface, and that's the thing with Serizawa's kid in Godzilla Mecha versus Gods. It's the Kong, early stages the of Mecha Godzilla Gods. X Kong Empire. <laughs> <laughs> All of the films, the monster verses. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Reference. Holy shit. Her backstory is super important. Oh, no. 28 days later. Damn, she went in the basement and found the evil secrets. What you saw down there was the future being created. It's Elon's Neuralink. You wiped out years of research. Oh, whatever. I'm sure Walter has it in his couch cushions. Walter! Oh. You're such a disappointment. Ouch. Walter, it is it? We've connected the dots, guys. We got our own CCTV coming here about three hours ago. Nice. You could also catch a lot of ghosts on those cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so many floating orbs. <laughs> How do we get in? The door. Are you going to do the bag over the head thing, or does Monarch have a secret rescue system? Wait. Do you have a rescue system? Sort of. Palpatine returns, sort of. <laughs> sort of. He came back somehow. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. I just get these pages day by day, you know? Mecha Godzilla's going in the thumbnail now, guys. Oh. It's going to trick everyone into thinking Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as long as you put it in a red circle, nobody can complain. G Day. Oh, no. G Day alert. G Day plus however that many. That is messed up. We just want her to distract the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is that what he, he just did? He must have done a Tim. Oh, my God, Timothy. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite television moment of 2023. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that makes I, so happy. I adore, this is my favorite episode. <laughs> this is my favorite Dude, episode. I was like, you just like <laughs> so angry. Tim. <laughs> that was so amazing. <laughs> Shouldn't we go somewhere? What do you know about monsters, Cora? I, I know... What, everybody else? Yes. I know everyone in this company is monsters. Why does that matter to you? You're a tech company. We're innovators. Imagine what we can learn from a nervous system that allows something as big as Godzilla to walk. That's what the cybernetic neuro interface were up to. Like a mechanical Godzilla? Oh, so we could recreate what it does and thinks. If this were real, we would have had advance warning. Your friends are obviously using this as a cover to rescue you. Hey. You walk out of here, clean slate, and even make sure you get your back pay. This is great. You report back to me everything you learn about these titans. Oh, no. All this time, I've been going, how the hell did they figure out the neural link <laughs> to this mechanical Godzilla? <laughs> no, no, man. I didn't. And now the show is finally giving me the answers I have been some he someone must have developed a technology for it. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. You can just leave. No, hey. I need to tell you something. My name is Cora. I'm calling to say I love you. I'm gonna call again for mom's birthday. No, you won't. Hey man, this is the best human drama episode they've done. Tis. I gotta say. 
And May Cora is a, a much more compelling character. The writing is catching up to her performance. <laughs> I wish you did. My name is Cora Mateo, and I used to work here as a programmer until I did something that I do not regret. Ooh. It's why I ran away, and it's, it's why I lied to you. And you. And, and Tim. Tim. By proxy. <laughs> I came all this way to catch you. No, but I didn't ask you to do that. Well, I'm sorry uh, for kidding. I May. really, May. seriously, May. You need to, May. my name May. is not May. Are you listening to me? Whoa. To get the hell out of here. Oof. What? She even got, even, even our main character got a good scene? Yeah. What is this show becoming? I told you, man. All you had to do is wait seven episodes. <laughs> That's It'll sweet seven. There. Sweet number <laughs> seven. Lucky seven, baby. <laughs> Kentaro got a good moment with his sister. This is the best modern day episode they've done. And they haven't even shown us a monster. Other than those goddamn monkeys. And we have a plane to catch. No, we can't because it's possible we're all about to be buried by whatever Shaw has planned. Did you think about that? Hey! Hey. I don't work for you. No, you <laughs> don't. So stop acting like you know my business simply because your name is Randa. What I do know is that you have a Shaw problem. You need to know where he's going and what he's doing. Am I right? It's an interesting sound edit there. And you're proposing a solution to this Shaw problem of mine. Shaw problem, okay, if you will. Okay, teacher, thrill me. <laughs> thrill me, Tom Atkins, baby. We found our dad's map. We found our dad and we found Godzilla. <laughs> You help us get May back, and we'll help you find Shaw. Tim, not a bad proposal. I was pissed at you, but I was pissed at myself. The night that I broke into the lab, I couldn't handle that, so I screwed us both over. So this is the moral of your story, then? <laughs> yep. There's an Italia Verdugo from Monarch here asking to see you. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. For one more. Cora. <laughs> Hey! Oh my god, they solved it off screen. What's Monarch gonna say about the Titan alert? PR will handle it. Meanwhile, we need to get to Washington and coordinate with the DOD to get Shaw contained. Ashley's hair is on fire right now. I think that we, we should do this. You should do this. The, the PR thing. You've always been great on camera. <laughs> we have to bring Monarch out of the shadows. Oh. This was a test of the emergency broadcast system. We are Monarch. We are about to go help Monarch. Monarch made a deal for my freedom with a corporation we shouldn't trust. So we trust Monarch now. We're not in the clear yet. I'm going with you guys. You just got back. What about your family? Now I can call them anytime. Sweet. Hell yeah. Okay, we're live in three, Damn. two, one. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh. speaking to you today as a representative. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the utmost power. <laughs> Dedicated to the study of massive unidentified terrestrial organisms, or mutos, including the creature oh. we know as Godzilla. Damn, she made mutos sound sack. Yeah. Or mutos. We bring the best minds and the most cutting edge technology, including yeah. the early warning system that was triggered in Seattle yesterday. This time it was just a <laughs> What a great introduction. <laughs> we messed up. <laughs> Listen, sorry. Now let me tell you as a mother, oh. I share your fear, but this is not the so world we live in. Monsters are an inescapable reality. Secret love. A constant threat. One random to the next. We must learn to survive. Oh no! And I believe it's a very interesting love triangle. Be a thruple. I think if she sticks to our agreement, it could be very fruitful. But oh yes, it just arrived. What? What is it? The it's head spilled the mystery. The link thingy. I think it's perfect. A bold statement for AET's new corporate mission. Pacific Rim. Good night, Mr. Simmons. Apex. Apex. Yeah. Apex. Applied experimental. Apex. Hollow Earth. Let's go. We need to get to the Hollow Earth. Yeah. It's my Alexander Skarsgård push. <laughs> we need Kong. <laughs> Super generic voice to correct this. Hey, man. He's got to work past his natural accent, you know. 
Oh, man. All right, let's bring the roof down on these things that dude, once and for all. That dude runs in the snow smoothly. Damn, dog. Maybe Shaw is going to become a secret villain. All right, here we go. We gotta work in unison with our Titan underlords. I think he's trying to free it. I hope so. Yeah. Outer circle. Mark. Whoa. 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 Beautiful nice. shot. Now watch this. Ooh. Ho ho. Glask in the sky beam. What's happening? Can't tell if he's ceiling or laying it all out. Yeah, he said bring the roof down on their heads. I don't know. Is he trying to close the hollow earth? Yes! Oh. Oh, I don't know. I think he sealed them in because they need to get to the hollow earth. In Godzilla versus Kong, to so that way they can complete something science fiction Some. mumbo jumbo about. Hey, uh, that hey. way they can use Mecha Godzilla. That's they, why they sent Alexander Skarsgård in there with their fun little ships. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Their little watchman ships. Yeah. See, I did my research. Hey. Ending explained. That's good. <laughs> and I'm sure they did their research to figure out what the accurate scientific methods would be. Here's a word from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. So whether you're launching a passion project or scaling to new heights, Shopify is the e-commerce powerhouse guiding you at every step. From creating your first online store to opening physical locations, Shopify makes it seamless. It's perfect whether you're selling exclusive merch or unique collectibles, thanks to their all-encompassing platform for both online and in-store sales. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify Magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of US e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify team. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. A real game changer I've been using for years. That's right years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've is true, believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TV, TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen. Protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. All right, guys. Well, I think I made my thoughts very clear on that one. It was... An absolute delight. <laughs> and there wasn't even monsters in it, except for like a, a very brief end. flash of one. So this will easily be our lowest performing Monarch video. Uh, <laughs> but, but that's a shame because I really liked this one. I did too. I really like it. <laughs> like, 
This is this is the draw human drama show I could actually watch. Yeah. Compared to whatever we've been watching prior that I have not personally been in love with, that I have been really trying to be in love with, but I thought it had a good balance of mystery, character stoisms, and then, <laughs> and, um, but, but just like it actually had like drama and personality. Sure. You know, like there was some fun to be had. It, it, and I'm specifically pertaining to the modern day story. I, I saw the even the top comment on like our last reaction, like I'm so much more invested in the 50s story. And yes, in terms of like a truly intriguing, mysterious one <laughs> with all around like dramatic intrigue of characters, the 50s storyline certainly wins. But this one, like Kurt Russell Shaw, like what is he up to? He felt malevolent and, and, and their plan that we thought has been nothing but benevolent. And everything with May and Quar was like, man, this backstory better be freaking interesting. And it was. <laughs> yes. It actually led to something interesting. Yes, it did. It wasn't just like, here's her character, you know? Yeah. Like, it was actually interesting. Yeah. She's important to yeah. the future. It had the cheese. What I loved about uh, Purple Dress Lady, what I loved about her <laughs> performance was it was so hammy. It was so. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the boss, the new boss. No, not yet. I'm not Natalia Badugo. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking May's, about... Uh, Cora's God, how do they, new... How do, how do people with that, with that, with that, with that native tongue do that? They just, they just sound slip right into it. sounds so American. Then yeah. they just say their name and it's just like, whoa, what'd you do? You just turned me on. Yeah. How'd you do it? Well, you know... By turning your voice on, you have turned that, me on naturally. It's that innate understanding of how the word is meant to be said. <laughs> Very true. They're not just putting on an accent. Yes, to, to, <laughs> to pander to people. It's just, yeah. oh, I know how this word works. But yeah, yes. no, purple AET lady. Yeah, what I liked about her performance was that it felt like she would be main managerial assistant to Damien Bashir's character <laughs> in Godzilla vs. Kong, sure. the creator, head of Apex, because he is so over the top and so mustache twirling. Yes. And so I thought her performance complemented that well. And, you know, I think that's a really good point. And I feel like I should get credit for that. I feel like everyone. Dude, I wish I made that point. I feel like people now. in the comments should comment about, like, really wish. wow, Greg, you know. Your lexicon for I don't think a lot of matched. other people are going to point that out, but you pointed that out. You did. And I think that's a, that's why we're subscribed to the Real Rejects. You drew a connection beyond the obvious Easter egg. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Breakdown. There I don't is, know if I explain. could add anything. I think if we just say things. it, I can justify it in the description. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, theories. <laughs> yeah. Easter eggs, eggs. Every clue. Uh, Commentary watch along. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought they were great. Uh, I still constantly. What is her name? Which one? The main girl. Kate. God damn. <laughs> it's such an easy name, and I can never remember it. That's Kate. the tricky part about an easy name. <laughs> Kate and Kentaro yes. still hate their scenes together. <laughs> it's never going to change. Uh, I don't like the writing I, around I, these I, characters. It is bland and repetitive. I, I, I understand the, the rift in the beginning of the first episode. Like, who are you, stranger? What are you saying about my dad, huh? Like, I understand that. But, uh, yeah, I, I hate their scenes. Like, when it's just... <laughs> When it's just <laughs> when it's only them, and that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, when it's just not, so like, dreary. Because uh, it showed me, I think, the, what this what this really <laughs> made crystal clear for me. Yes, because it was like two episodes ago. We were like, "Wow, it really solidified. They're boring." <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and and I I would have lumped May's character into that category, Cora, whatever we want to call her. Yes, either is fine. She's so much more interesting to me now. Uh huh. Even when they went back and did the whole thing of like the conversation she was having before she met Kentaro, that made me go, oh, okay, you know, like it's not like a big freaking reveal to me or something, but it. It showed me that on a rewatch, which I will probably never do, it, it recontextualized. <laughs> I, I will for the both. Of yeah, us. <laughs> it showed me that. Oh, I imagine on a rewatch, recontextualizing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was it, a nice that, little. That would, it would actually make her more her character more interesting from the get go. Yeah, it's a nice Knowing moment of proximity. Going. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so feels uh, kind of alive. Actually. Thumbs up to that. Def yeah, exactly. That's my point. Yeah, it does. Like this, this episode felt alive. And and it and it also still gave the connections to the bigger films, 
in in ways that were. That's the only reason I like any of this. Oh, yeah, because no, it's totally, yeah, eggs, nostalgia. Because you called a thing and it came true. On yeah, because I love interconnected universes. Um, yeah, antecedents yeah. connecting to other antecedents is my favorite part of the cinematic experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be rewarded for knowing details. for knowing and being like, I think this is the thing. I think I has become a reality <laughs> for me. Yeah, which you know. As silly as we're speaking right now, it is a nice part of things, but it's also, yeah. Well, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's going, it's going, but with Kate and Kentaro, like, they had moments in this show that were not them two talking to each other's faces <laughs> that were, that I was like, oh, that was a good moment. Yes, each and of them with other characters got a good moment. Now, I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you. What? Well, no, no. You're not about to drop some kind of criti- criticism on me, are you? I am. A critique? After all this goodwill? I am going to drop a critique. All right, fine. Go for it. It's your funeral. Where the hell did this Kate and May shit come from? The need to do something like that in the, the stage I, in the game. I had the no... structure dictates. <laughs> ...idea. I, I, the second they addressed the idea... It wasn't until that Kate she, is a queer character. You thought that's what I they were doing. I thought in the well, but I didn't see that between them. In the back of my mind, I'm just like, oh, I, I can imagine it because I can imagine May, if I may be so presumptuous, I can imagine May being a character who is maybe uh, bisexual or pansexual or, or or queer in some way, even though she's had her experience with Kentaro, whatever. Woke. Yes, it's too woke, G, and this is the exact moment I I'm quit the show. I'm all for people of color. Homosexual men, <laughs> transgenders, whatever, but lesbians? No, that is get a them out of my sight. Sin, but man, do I like to watch them. <laughs> I am a 1950s. Actually, no, 1950s American. I hate all that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was something that I kind of cynically in the back of my mind was like, I bet they'll try, or I won't be at all surprised if they try. Because I'm like, no wonder Kate's like, I gotta save her, because I love her, apparently. <laughs> I really enjoyed this episode, too, and I, I liked uh, the human experience it presented much more than any other episode on this part of the timeline, for sure. Uh, that is something, that is a choice. <laughs> like, I'll always take a progressive choice, regard, even if it's not very inspired or whatever. I'd rather have it than the same old thing. But <laughs> it is, like, kind of broad to me in a way where I'm like, of course, I guess. Like, it's weird. There is nothing about the characterization uh, the characterization is just so weird. I thought this episode worked nicely because it smartly, at least to me as a viewer, repositioned just the proportionality of how all the characters are presented. So, like, having Tim kind of be a driving force John, of this episode. I really want to save Tim for its whole other category. Yeah, we don't have to talk about him now. I'm, I'm only... Yeah. I'm only uh, That's why I haven't brought him up. Remixing the focus so that our lead characters feel a bit more like supporting characters, I think, was a smart choice because it allows for them not to really improve the writing of those characters, (laughs) but it makes the experience like okayer (laughs) that their scenes are like that. And then, yes, like the my problem with Kate is that I feel like the show has done such a weird job tonally drawing her story so like yeah man. i never feel like th- th- i don't know i liked her scenes especially with may but part of me is like i can feel them doing this and i don't f- i i know logically where it's coming from but it doesn't feel like a thing the story has been focused on or earning at all so it is uh, you it, it's there's still a disjointed detachedness where I'm like, I like this actor, but out of everybody, it's like the three of them have always felt like they're all in a different thing. And Kiersey Clemens is in like the best thing of the three of them, except it's taken until now to like have enough context to be like, oh, I get why you are the way you are and why your demeanor as a character is the way it is. 
And now I can see past the way that's kind of abrasive and, and you know, grating when all three of them are like, no, for, for sure, various man. reasons. No, I'm not there with you. Uh, and, you know, can, can Taro, I, I go back and forth on, like, I, he's the chillest presence. There's a way that Kay oscillates between when she's, like, super peppy and when she's, like, angsty that never quite feels like it's the same character to, to me. I, I can't tell who this character is. I just know there's an actress here doing a fine job. I still don't think that, like, she's a bad actor or anything or... or, or I just... it's Yeah, the... the, the <laughs> <laughs> I, she had the most moments this episode that I enjoyed, but I still don't feel like I am actually seeing a character here, and I feel like their brother and sister, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. their brother and si- like May Cora feels like a character, and Kentaro kind of feels like a character. He's just kind of a one note character, and then oh, yeah, Kate is there. is sort of all sorts of things, and I felt like I had a much better grip at least on who she w- was before. And now they're gallivanting around the world and there have been kite more kaiju attacks. And I, I feel like this just doesn't feel like the same person with the trauma <laughs> as she was like two episodes ago. Uh, I liked her scene when she met up with May and was like, come yeah. on, May, let's go. Let's it's go okay. on an adventure. Let's leave, May. Come on. She's like, no, Kate. Your character doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't. It does. Listen to me. You gotta go. And like... But, <laughs> But May, <laughs> I love you. Uh, yeah, shut up, Kate. You were nice to me once. You. you were nice to me once in a cave, and we've now had, we're in love. We've had no <laughs> scenes together to build our relationship. Except that I don't time. understand why you care about me so much. <laughs> Except that one time where you just did the like decent human thing of not just completely ignoring me while I was in a moment of crisis. <laughs> but May, we can assume the audience has had a we've had we've had a lot of off screen. Conversations. What other woman on the show are you going to be in love with? <laughs> <laughs> Flashback girl's not in the picture anymore. There are no yeah. other logical choices. Um, <laughs> Which I love. To, to bring it back around, I love the choice, even though I I kind of, I I, I genuinely am happy. I hate how we got here. It's an, I, I, I ironically I, love this choice. I, I was I'm listening to it going, this show would be so much more interesting if they if they just had made their dynamic if they really made the interaction and the dynamic like oh shit I think something's gonna happen between Kate and me if, yeah and, and then Kentaro's I'm like oh if they just played into the love triangle of it all history freaking repeating itself think of it and then him being like oh you already got one of my families now you're trying to steal away a whole other family from me with me oh I yeah they could have made May. some actual interpersonal drama and then people would be complaining about like I showed up for a monster show not a love triangle show but I'm like at least the love triangle drama would be more interesting than whatever than this constant back and forth land shit we've gotten before <laughs> with these guys. This is so much. Anyway, and I like that Kentaro sh- looks away and is kind of charmed by it. As much as like they've had their stuff, like I that was the first time the three of them all felt like a unit. Ever. But Kentaro is <laughs> the one who is able to talk to the sister yeah. and be like, "Here's who May really is." But you know who couldn't do that. Kate. Kate. Because Kate don't know this woman. No. No. No, no it's I'm okay. homophobic. But Kentaro's going to get with the sister and then May and uh, Kate. Are yeah, that sounds yeah, age appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> She's driving. Like, she must be probably at least 18, one like, would imagine. May's sister. Especially. want to become an American citizen. <laughs> <laughs> come live with me in Japan. <laughs> come come to my art you gallery to opening I don't want to go to. What did I just say? Sorry. What joke did I say? <laughs> and then what joke did you make, John? Sorry. What did I say? You said that, uh, that he, he would have to, you know, marry her. I said, because I want to be an American citizen. Yeah. And then what did you say? Oh, I thought you said I don't want to be an American citizen. Sorry. No, oh, see, this I you said, I is want called to be an American clarification citizen. of communication. Enunciation. That's, it's a really I, important that's my part. Of communication. There's a lot of times it's just a common misunderstanding. And it's true. He thought her one thing and I got vexed to the core. <laughs> Vexna. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Tim. Tim's like the savior of this show. Tim I love Tim. Is the is his the, character show on his back. Tim is he's <laughs> it's, Tim and Wyatt Russell and and uh and the doctor. His energy <laughs> Is what I crave from this show. We're like, <laughs> when it's serious, 
I take it seriously when what he has to say. He provides world building. He provides intrigue into the conversation. He's funny. He's quirky, when he wants to be annoying. funny. Yeah. yeah. Like every quality that I liked about this episode, <laughs> Tim is emblematic <laughs> yes. of all of that. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because it he's layered. <laughs> He's the only multi-layered personality of the entire show. Like he's, he's, he. I'm telling, you, like it's not just because oh he made me laugh. Like he can be. He's sincere he, too. He can be dramatic, and I take yeah. it. I'm like I'm really paying attention to when he's getting intense, and he feels like the exact right tone to fit yeah. what the world ought to be. Because he's an old white man, and I've been programmed I... by the <laughs> creation of television to, <laughs> but to pay attention. But I'll add to that. He's giving me the vibes that I was kind of hoping for from other old white man, uh, Kurt Russell. I like Kurt Russell, but thus far in the show, Kurt Russell has mostly been here to to mainly be Kurt Russell, you know? <laughs> yeah, I like Kurt Russell because I like Kurt Russell. Yeah, um, whereas like he's not bringing like that extra ounce of like, this is a magical character out of this why, magical world. Kurt Russell's being Kurt Russell and why Russell's playing a character. I know. Yeah, and it's and the it, weirdest part to me. And, and again, I don't necessarily blame Kurt Russell. They haven't written anything. They've only written functional things for him in the present timeline since we left his little compound. Well, they don't know why Russell's voice. They were like, we can't just write it to to sound like Kurt Russell because maybe Wyatt's going to get upset about that. (laughs) Yeah. Wyatt's like, I'm still trying to form my own identity. (laughs) You just just make me be my dad. While being in my dad's shadow. (laughs) And I mean, I, I... how did, there's such an opportunity there for to show the passage of time and make Kurt Russell a bit more of a kooky or or a, a character that makes you ask, how did that guy in the past kind of become this guy? I can kind of see it, but there's some stuff I, I thought, would love to know more about. I thought he was so much more intriguing, even though he had less lines. Yeah, him breaking in, given the choice, the th- very threatening choice. Yeah, to the employees at Monarch, of like let's do something good, even though it sounds dangerous. Yeah. There's an, an irony to when he was cheering at the very end. You're not really sure what he's up to. I, I thought this was the most intriguing he's ever been, even though he had less screen time. Yeah. Um, uh, scenes about him, like, to me, this is when I really felt like, oh, this is a real, this is, a, this is becoming like not just Kurt Russell being Kurt Russell. Yeah, it's part yeah, of the more interesting aspect of the show because you have Monarch and everybody else kind of in Monarch's way and the interplay of like, well, you've got this person from Monarch who is kind of like disavowed Monarch and is going rogue and and is going to team up with Kurt Russell. But then maybe they think they're doing a good thing and he's actually going to be doing something that's maybe kind of villainous or something. But can we trust Monarch? But now we got Apex. Like those things, those like entanglements, I think are actually kind of nice. They, They help out. And I agree, like his presence here, Again, I still think it's functional. It's like because we're now watching him go villainous, that makes me think of the old plot line of like, okay, well, up till now, we've seen some of the seeds of where this trio could go wrong in the past, um, especially, you know, with the tension back and forth of like, well, we got to keep the army happy, but we got to look after these creatures and stuff. And I'm like, okay, maybe this will harken to something we're about to learn in the past about him going off in a more, uh, you know, iron fisted direction or something like that. Uh, or, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, iron claw. I don't know. You know, something that's like hard line. Something that's a bit more militaristic. That's right. (laughs) Yes. Uh, (laughs) yeah, maybe, maybe this will kind of foreshadow his past turn toward the more militaristic, the more, you know, like if there's even a 1% chance kind of mindset, you know, Mm-hmm. Either way, I like to have the. I treat truth. everything in my life like that. But yeah, but d- I'm gonna cover this movie. Even if the- <laughs> Craig, all of numbers are pointed to. It's gonna fail. If there's even a one percent chance, <laughs> it'll do well on YouTube. I'm gonna do it. We gotta kill. We gotta kill these kaiju. If there's a one percent chance, I'm uploading gonna- forty videos a day. <laughs> hey. All off of a one percent chance that they'll do well. <laughs> hey, you know you'll have a couple hits in there. Uh, odds are, but Tim has the- that. F- flavor of character that I would have hoped for from a Kurt Russell because I think it's fun when he does show up and act and bring you know it's that thing if you want some of that innate Kurt Russell-iness because that's part of what we love about him he is one of our remaining movie stars uh, of yesteryear uh, 
and yeah, I've been so excited for him, and I'm like, yeah, Wyatt Russell is the more interesting presence, but he's doing more of the dramatic stuff. So on the current timeline, I'm like, I want to have some fun with Kurt Russell, and I feel like Tim represents all of the flavors I kind of would hope for from him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I loved him. Uh, that moment when uh, Natalia Verdugo. Verdugo. Uh, I was trying to mumble my way through it. And, um, with a... With a with a really, really good Spanish accent. I got to say, I did. Um, she is fuming in the helicopter. Is the helicopter a car? Tim. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it was such like a soap I think she's flying at the time. Like the shot just went on for so long of her fuming. <laughs> and, and it was just such like a fuming set where every part of her face was sort of twitched. And I just... <laughs> Tim, yeah, like burst the, the one that you knew Careful. was Tim. It was so funny. It was so funny. That was that was my favorite moment of this entire show. And that's the kind of cheese I I, I, love I the, do yeah, appreciate. I like, love the cheese of that moment. I have to imagine they knew that yeah. this was gonna be a little cheeky because it's freaking his it's Tim. 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 <laughs> Yeah, Tim. Like there's so much music and intensity and that it goes quiet at that moment. That was perfect. <laughs> Such an innocent plucky name. Tim. Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tim M- Tim VP. Oh, uh, that was Tim that the MVP. Was, that was genius. Yeah. Agree. Genius. And we got a split second of monster action. Yeah, that was a great shot. Um, <laughs> that was a great <laughs> yeah. shot. <laughs> and yeah. uh, some solid enough supporting to, characters. Enough for Apple TV to put that on their social media commercial God. that we get blamed for then spoiling on our thumbnail when I'm like, but I saw it on an ad. We, we see what you're doing, Apple. Someone was like, wow, thanks for spoiling Godzilla in this episode in the last one. I was like, you mean the... The, the, the thing, thing that was sold to like that was so the, much. Of that was the entire commercial for this episode that I saw on my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that this scene was going to happen? <laughs> that seems to be what they want me to take away from it watching this like episode. They want you guys to know. Or that that's what this they want me to expect from this episode. This is like they want you to know he's in this. Yeah, yeah. You're mad at me. They're banking on you being excited <laughs> that he's in this yeah. and coming to check uh, it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh well. Uh, that's my rule of thumb. I'm like, if it's in the trailer, that's your rule it, of thumb. <laughs> Nailed <laughs> it. <laughs> Legacy of jokes. Legacy <laughs> of <laughs> comedy. <laughs> uh, yeah. When, when, when? That's my that's my rule. It's a good rule. If it's in the trailer, especially if it's in the commercial. Like that's what I was it's like. In a TV commercial. Mm-hmm. Or if a much 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 bigger channel has already done it. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm like, yeah, it's we definitely have similar audiences. They're uh, they got like hundreds of thousands more views than us right now. So, so people can't be that enraged. Yeah, because I'm just a follower, like all of you guys. Hey, everyone's following everybody else. It's or or, or if a really small channel does it, then I then I do it it's just to show my support for a small channel. <laughs> yeah, I want to lift them up by yeah. uh, you know showing their spoiler. Or if there's a channel with an equal number of views, I do it to, because I'm competing with them. Because I want to take them down. Yeah. So, bottom line, I just don't hold myself accountable. I'm gonna look at you. Shouldn't have to. Either they have more subscribers and views already, so why not? <laughs> Less views. I'm gonna show my support. Throw my hat in the ring. Equal views. I'm competing, and there's the only way to find out who's really on top by having the same image. So, yeah. no. Yeah. What am I do, John? Yeah, I'm taking notes, man. Or learn the ways. Or the company who is producing the show has already spoiled it themselves via <laughs> extensive marketing. It's like I remember with Gen. They literally paid money to spoil this for you. I remember on Gen V, the, the all the social oh. medias for Gen V were showing were. were Put a promo photo of Jensen Ackles, sure, out of of uh, <laughs> Soldier Boy Returns this episode. Sure. So what I did in the thumbnail was I used that promo image that's not in the episode. <laughs> yeah. And people were like, "Can't believe you spoiled it!" Just <laughs> Soldier Boy's yeah, like, it's literally from not in the episode. This is from advertising this is they from paid for. Gen V social media yeah. <laughs> saying he's going to return this week. <laughs> this is what they want to entice you with. I know it's a whole discussion that people want to have and yell at me for. I, I want I've to. explained my reasoning. Gotta have it. Hey, you know, it makes sense to me. Just just spoil everything. Yeah. You know? Oh, and views. 
Envy gets you. <laughs> does, yeah. does, because then people are like, either way, it's either I got to see that or I got to open the video and comment my dismay. Yeah. 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 View either way. Yeah. Get a view either way. Going out yeah. of your way to get that view, get that spoiler. And then, you know, sometimes certain time passes and you're like, ah, right, I'm going to put the spoiler thumb up. How much time? I like five to seven minutes. Seven minutes, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Most of our reviews don't come from notification bells. No, they come from when you change the thumbnail. <laughs> to a spoilery <laughs> thumbnail. To a thumb to, they all start to pile in. Why has this only got like 10 views? Oh, wait. Wrong <laughs> thumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most of our reviews come from YouTube recommendations. It's or, true. Or search, actually. No, search. Search. This is the thing that surprised me the most, eh? <laughs> because yeah. the, is the reviews come from search. <laughs> like most of our monarch views, stuff, yeah. or any of most of the shows or movies, we, uh, like the movies recommendations. Sure. The shows and trailers, search. search. So you got to want to see. So you, stuff. Uh, yeah, that, that's the part that yeah. shocks me the most. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, it shows here vast majority of our views yeah, Ooh. are for people typing in. People seeking this <laughs> yeah. out. Well, then you've got no one to blame but yourself. But you must that, know that the one game. Person, there's that with those few people, though, where some do come from recognition. It's fair. It is fair. You know, it's fair, but you then can't guarantee to that 100%. point. To that point, I muted and blocked all Mute things on Barbie. Oh, yeah. And Scream 6 for many months. Yeah. Because I knew we were going to react to it here, and I managed to avoid all spoilers. Hell yeah, And you dude. best bet that this YouTube channel be subscribed and have a lot of notification bells for many a channel. Yeah. And bam, still managed to avoid all spoilers. Well done, dude. Because I'm you a should, genius. You should publish like a course for people to follow. So, yeah. Ten-step program to avoid getting any and all details. Then write a book. You. Have ChatGPT write it. Bestseller. Change just a word uh, every sentence, one word. Just upload it a little contract to be like, here's an NDA for you to be my ghostwriter. Can you sign this? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, chat GPT does it. Yeah. And then you're like, I'll anyway, see you in court. If you, you can discern it. in the last 10 minutes here what was serious and what was a joke. And, uh, hey, thanks for being here. We'll talk to you all soon. What do you think of this episode of Monarch Justice for Tim? <laughs> all right, John, pick a name. All righty, let's do... David Gandy. David Gandy. Do you know what you're getting for Christmas this year, David Gandy? I am going to go to Arizona, Ooh. find a cactus, <laughs> yeah. chop it down for you, <laughs> and leave it directly in on your front door. <laughs> this giant cactus, and you will have the honor yourself yeah. of have it and move it you wherever can, you find fit. You can propagate it if you want to. Just right there in your porch on wet cement. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a part of the porch now it's, if you don't act fast. <laughs> so either you move it or yes. every single day you got to maneuver your way around it. Yes. Really, the choice is yours. And this is a test of your tenacity Ooh. on how quickly am I willing to tackle a, an objective on my to-do list that day? <laughs> or am I going to procrastinate and go, maybe I can wait till tomorrow. But then you wait till tomorrow and the cement dries. Before you know it, you got a disgusting, <laughs> decaying cactus yes. just right on your front door, man. So I hope you enjoy it. But really, the cactus is, is to teach you a lesson. It's about so, patience. Well, or what, how does or that to not make powerful enemies, or uh, don't I be guess. don't be prickly at, at Christmas time. It's more about just getting something done and moving hey, a cactus. Take initiative, Dave. Go move the cactus. Your porch is a walkway. People need to use that. Yeah, man. But seriously, uh, I'm gonna get you a cactus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Clear space on your mantelpiece, David. But no, man, I know you're like probably performing guitar at your church. Yeah, taking some cool pics. Singing picks. for everyone, taking some cool pics of everyone at church while you're playing guitar. With your action figures. With your action figures and telling them about old movies. Yeah. Because I know you, David. 
I know you, man. You don't change. Better you don't change. You're the same healthy. stubborn Republican we've known our entire lives. So what they call you at the Patreon. The, the stubborn the Republican. St- stubborn Republican Gandhi. <laughs> doesn't stop preaching. Preaching his values. Grand old Gandhi. It's like, gosh, man, look, I can be friends with a Republican, but, dude, you got to stop shoving your opinions <laughs> down my throat, <laughs> David. I got shit to do, buddy. Uh, but we love you, man, and I hope you enjoy the cacti, and I really want you to know that Jesus loves you. He does. He told us. God, on the other hand, he's, he's not. got any, it's a conversation he's had with you. Yeah. But Jesus, he's constantly just being like, yo, dude, my dad's about to show up. You might want to <laughs> want duck out, and David's always like, duck out the back. Why? Is that that do something? Like, hey, man, just I'll explain later. Dude. We'll talk about it later. I'll shoot you a text, and then I'll send you the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so the Spirit contacts you, man. And David, David's like, David's like, why can't you just tell me now? Man, should I just talk to him? He's like, no, how urgent should I be? The last thing you want to do is talk to him. He'll smite you right now. Yeah. Like, you Don't even sign the cross. Don't let him catch you praying. Get get out of here, you gotta man. just lay low for a while. Yeah. yeah. Don't go to church. <laughs> Don't go to church. He's going to know if you open the Bible. So just like, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever you do, hide. Hide. <laughs> hide from God. And that's the name of your, your biopic. That's the name of your hide movie. Hide from God. Hide from God. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's badass. That's hardcore. It'd be a scary movie. It would be. Hiding from God. God yeah. <laughs> he How would, do you do it? God's a, hunting you down? It'd be a 30 second movie. <laughs> but that's but where you get clever. Rules? Depends. Yeah, what's the rules? Well, the first 90 minutes are backstory. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> Why God is yeah. mad at David. And the last five, and the last minutes. five minutes is when he comes just, and gets him. Yeah. <laughs> the last ten, the, the remaining after the five are just him having a conversation. Yeah. You're yeah. like, hey, you didn't need to go to all this effort. I, I'm not that mad. I still love you. Yeah. I just Could you get some shit in My whole point is I'm I, for, mad. I forgive you. I'm just disappointed, you know? Anyway, David, <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Thank Christmas. You, yeah, we have a joyous one, <laughs> 